Hi, this is Sunil from uh, Informatica MDM support. Uh, in this video, we're going to learn how to implement HDD in MDM 9797 and later versions like 971 and version 10. Uh, as we know, uh, 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 HDD implementation is slight, uh, slightly changed in uh, MDM 971 as compared to 91 and 951 releases. There we have a user exit in um, at the database side levels, but here we need to implement user exit in uh, the Java side, and we need to import that user exit jar into Hub Console. As you know, uh, so this is the agenda for this video. As you know, uh, what is HDD? Uh, clear that HDD means uh, hard delete detection. Uh, where uh, uh, we can uh, find whether the source system record is deleted from the source system or not. That is, to find out whether the particular record is deleted from the source system. So uh, we we have uh, one custom we have custom columns in HDD uh, to find out whether it's deleted from the source system or not. So here is our agenda for this video. Uh, initially, we need to run the SQL script for HDD that is C repos external hard delete detection uh, repos table where we can store the details of our uh, stage tables that is uh, with respect to the source system then we need to make a user exit jar file for HDD uh, then we need to import uh, this jar file into MDM hub console then we need to test the HDD so initially uh, let's see how what are the SQLs uh, we have to run uh, 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 for the HDD so uh, you have to connect to your ORS initially then see this here I'm creating one uh, um, repos table called C repos external hard delete detect so this is the table we are creating here and so uh, this tape these repos um, these scripts are available in uh, configuration guide MDM configuration guide and then we need to create this uh, um, comments for the columns and then we need to uh, there are two types of uh, uh, HDD types one is the direct and the second one is consensus as we know uh, so that's why we are going for this um, check constraint and again uh, if you want to enable uh, HDD the indicator is 1 disable you need to disable the indicator is 0 and uh, with the end date value also we have a check constraint and uh, we need to add a unique constraint on the table then this is one alter system where we are creating a foreign key uh, foreign ro foreign key for uh, ro I mean, I mean uh, C repos table you can see here yeah this is a C repos table then we need to insert uh, this matrix into C repos uh, job metric you can see here so after running these queries commit the changes so once you commit the changes then uh, the next job uh, is to uh, make the jar file so here I'm going to show you uh, what is the code here so uh, as we know there are two types of HD types one is the direct another one is consensus so in this uh, demo we're going I'm going to show you how to make uh, a jar file for uh, a direct type see here so you need to implement uh, the user exit uh, like this uh, I mean um, uh, you need to make a, a user exit class like this so in this uh, class I'm going to implement a, a post landing user exit for direct so if you want see here uh, you need to add all this um, parameters if you want to see these messages in the log log uh, log file CMS server log file so this is the user exit for uh, 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 direct uh, HDD type where you can implement this user exit I mean post landing user exit so this is the one so in order to uh, configure uh, for consensus HDD type you need to add one more class for post la post stage user exit for consensus so once you make this code and you need to create a jar file so once you create the jar file then uh, the next job is to import the jar file into our MDM so here I'm going to show you uh, uh, say here user object registry 
once you go to user object registry you can see here user exits I imported this user exit using this tab successfully so once you import it then design your schema so here I have uh, created one uh, viewer table uh, first name last name and date and del code so del code we need to give default value a it means that always the source system record is a then I configure stage table then I configure learning table with the same columns so once you configure this one so now you are ready to run the HDD on your table so before going to run uh, stage and load jobs you need to enter this C repos information that is you can see here C repos uh, we are inserting a record with respect to stage table so we are putting this stage table information in C repos external hard delete detect repos table so here we are mentioning this is direct and what is the column name of uh, delish, del, del, I mean, um, delete flag so del, del, there is a del code what uh, A is for active I for inactive and we are not mentioning anything for partial but because when you implement direct uh, direct HDD you don't you don't need to pass uh, uh, a code for or value for partial type then um, there is a known issue in HDD and 997 versions so if you pass an end date value indicator as a 1 so the job may fail so that's why I'm making it zero end date and everything is zero uh, so uh, once you enter this information stage table information into C repos external hard drive detect commit the changes now uh, so let me insert two records in landing table okay these are the two records in landing table so I'm going to run stage table initially go to batch viewer and run the stage job here I'm gonna execute the stage job you can see stage job is executed insert two records then execute the load job two records inserted now let me delete one record from source that is learning table so I'm going to delete this record and commit the changes now I'm going to run stage and load let's see what happens so if you run the stage job again you can see here total records one inserted one but flagged as deleted it means that it deleted the record in landing table and again insert back with del indicator i it means that inactive now I'll show you that see I'm going to refresh this and you will see this record with del indicator i it means that it is deleted from the source system so next I'm going to run the load job yes it should be one record should be updated so let's see what happens in BVO so Sunil record is getting deleted from the BVO so we can see that indicator is I
you can see here so the del code indicator is i for Sunil record so this way we can check HDD whether it is working fine or not so there is a known issue as I told you like you know uh, if you provide end date uh, column uh, flag whether it is available uh, that is 0 or 1 you will see this error message for that we have already a hora created for that it will be addressed in the future releases so you can uh, very well refer to this um, configuration guide for more details on this uh, HDD so we would love to hear from you uh, uh, always at uh, support videos at informatio.com and uh, you can follow us on twitter.com info support as well and thank you thank you for watching this video